Hi, this is Alan from Alpus Group and I'm just going to talk to you today about a property which uh, crossed our path. This is a former Methodist church in Maiden Street, Weymouth, postcode DT48AZ. Uh, it's a very impressive listed building and um, it's uh, quite a, a powerful uh, profile of building. It has um, got uh, planning permission for conversion to 25 flats plus um, refurbishment of one existing building, a cottage within the grounds. So we'll just uh, have a look through the photographs just to get an appreciation of the building. It looks in pretty dire state of repair. You can see various uh, support scaffolds up at the higher levels of the building. Presume that there's been some danger of um, collapse of some of these upper parts. So it's a building which is going to need a lot of um, work on it to convert it into flats. Um, it probably would be quite desirable um, in terms of uh, the location because it's uh, quite central in Weymouth, not far from the beach, um, the seafront at, at Weymouth. Um, however, quite a challenge in terms of um, development. So we did some rough calculations. It is um, for sale at auction and um, because it's a listed building, I think it is going to be very expensive to develop because the listed building officer will have various prerequisites for restoration to its former glory. and. Um, you just don't know what sort of costs could be incurred as a result of having to um, uh, employ specialists, um, highly qualified and therefore highly expensive tradespeople to uh, carry out work. So this is the location. Um, it's um, just not far from the uh, inlet to the sea here, uh, quite central within the built up area of Weymouth. Uh, these are some of the pictures again just to get an appreciation and uh, we ran some rough calculations um, for this uh, in fact we'll just get these calculations up have a quick look it's not worth spending much time on this because um, it's never going to be economic to develop I think um, because the uh, purchase prices in the area wouldn't support a massive amount of expenditure. So the guide price at auction is £490,000, which is the first line of our calculator here. Stamp duty on the purchase is £26,700, including additional rate stamp duty. Legal costs, we're assuming, are going to be £5,000 or in that region. Architect's fees and project management we've taken as 11.11% of the refurbishment and construction costs. Uh, so that's 11% of 3.874 million. And the way we arrived at this uh, was just very roughly. We took um, 26 uh, residential units of 500 square feet each, uh, which is 13,000 square feet. Um, we probably should have um, added something for circulation areas as well. So probably the area we've got is a bit light there. The construction costs we've taken as being um, £248 a square foot, which is the equivalent to constructing new build on a, a vacant site. But we've assumed it would be high standard finishes. And so when you add up all the costs, of um, purchase price, stamp duty, legals, architectural fees, and new construction comes to 4.821 million seven hundred thousand. So we take a 10% contingency because um, there's a lot of unknowns in this listed building, and um, we would not want to um, go in with too tight uh, an offer on this. So we're providing 482,100 for contingency and 482,100 for finance costs, making 5.785 
$1,900,000 for total costs. So you can well imagine uh, that um, to develop a building of such uh, complexity, bearing in mind you're going to have to do a lot of uh, strengthening of the existing structure, you can see that there are weak points in the upper parts of the structure. You don't know what other problems there might may be within the building. I don't know if there's asbestos in there, but um, you can assume the worst basically because uh, you would never get out of that development with a minimal cost. And the um, local values per square foot are around about £309 a square foot. So um, that assumes a high quality finish and that's 108% of the local average of £286 a square foot. So we've already enhanced the local rate for um, flats giving a total value on the building of just over 4 million. So as you can see, if you're going to be spending 5.8 million and you've only got 4 million coming in, it just doesn't stack up at all as a deal. So this is just for illustration, um, if anyone ever needed it, of um, the reason not to go ahead with a project. This site appears to be cheap, but it, it's cheap because there's a a reason for that. It's a very difficult site to redevelop. It's going to be very expensive. It's a listed building. You know the listed building officer is going to basically demand a lot of things which are going to be very expensive to fulfill. They may cause additional costs. They may cause delays. So this is just an example calculation, a sort of extreme one of um, why not to do uh, certain types of development. And this is one that we would avoid a listed building um, uh, with a lot of problems uh, to it. So um, if you're interested in any deals in the UK, we have got a lot of other much better deals than this. So you can call me, that's uh, Alan at Alpers Group on plus four four seven five three nine one four one two five seven or plus four four triple three double two four one two five seven. Uh, you can schedule a call with me at calendly.com slash alanje or you can drop me an email at alan Alpers Group. That's all for now. Cheers.